Hi guys, today I'm interviewing Tommy McCarthy. He's had ni 19 wins, four defeats, 10 big wins by knockout. And um, I want to say congratulations on your win. Um, I think it was in Ethiopia, was it? Estonia. Estonia. Uh, yeah. Yes. To get back on winning ways, I think, um, I'm not sure. Sure, how to pronounce the guy's name, but I think he was one win four defeats or something. Yeah, yeah, it was just handy we win in Estonia, as you say, just to get back to winning ways. Yeah. So, was your hardest fight that Chris Billum Smith fight, the second one? Yeah, you know the uh, the second one. Uh, Chris, you know, came came out. Um, with more more purpose, more to prove. So it was it was a tough day to die for me. Yeah. Do you agree with with the stoppage? Nah, really. But uh, you know, uh, I thought it be the be the count, but obviously the the fight Chris was starting to take over. So. Uh, it wasn't really that he was, I think he was up on points maybe by a couple of rounds. So it's disappointing to get stopped, but sure, what can you do? Yeah, we were, were you confident going into the rematch? Because the first fight was rather close. I thought you nicked it personally in the first fight. Yeah, yeah. I thought it won the first fight too. So yeah, I was confident um that I would beat him again, but then leading up to the fight, I was I uh, wasn't really happy with how my camp was going, so I said... The, Which one? The first my, one? No, the second one. Oh. So I was like, I don't I don't think I'm ready here for for this fight, but it says, no, let me just roll the dice, honey. Yeah, was that um back in, um I think it was April? Mm. Yeah, that was a tough night, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, the thing was off well. But the reason that was harder than um, Reactpool? Yeah, you know, the Reactpool fight wasn't too hard. Um, I, I felt like I was winning the fight and then I just, I got caught. Just Reactpool was a massive puncher and that, you know, that wasn't a hard net. Um, as I say, it caught me and kind of scrambled my, my brains a bit. But um, that fight with um, Bill Smith, the second one, Bill Smith 2, it was like, it started off well. I felt like one of the first three rounds, but then slowly things started unraveling. And um, it was just, it was hard. Everything about it, even like getting ready for it, it was hard to prepare because there was so much going on in the gym and um, it was just, it was just a nightmare. Yeah. Was it weird um, fighting in Eddie Hearn's like backroom, gar uh, backroom garden? Thing. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, but it was enjoyable. Was there like many people there? No, I think there was only uh, like three hundred people. Oh, I I watched that um on the zone. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you enjoy it. Yeah, but but before the Chris Billum Smith fight, I think it, you thought Alexandru Junior was it? Alexander Joe, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, he's... You don't take any, like, easy fights, really. Yeah. Well, you know, see, being an Irish fighter, you don't really get offered any easy fights. And any fights that come up, if you want to do something, like, have you ever heard the saying, beggars can't be choosers? So any fights to get offered to me, I, I take them, and that's just the way it goes. So... I'm glad you've noticed that. Uh, I'm not taking any easy fights. And then the last one, like I was actually away. Yeah. Training. I was just training in the storm. I heard that like, you got like what one day's notice, two days notice, was it? Well, well basically, like I was just training over and a guy said, Listen, um, we're having a show if you want to fight on. And I said, Yeah, let's do it. So that's just the kind of meatball I am. Any fights gone, I'm ready to go. Yeah. And now are you gonna go back up there for titles? Yeah, you know, hopefully touch wood. Um, 
you know, I've built my profile still there. I'm still, you know, in the mix, so to speak. So hopefully before the end of the year, we'll be back in the title mix. Because yeah. I think um Chris Billum Smith's fighting again against um I think it's Isaac Chamberlain, is it? Yeah. Who, who do you think wins that? Do you think Billum Smith beats him? Yeah, yeah. Because I think uh Chamberlain's um a hard um hitter though, is he? Chamberlain's all right, you know, but um Billum Smith's just more seasoned. Um and he's had Bill's just been in the ring with, you know, better opposition. And he's he's improving. Yeah. He is. I, I reckon Smith might. I don't know. I think Smith might stop him. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. If if the third fight, like, if the phone rings and they say, uh, you're on winning ways, you, you're beating good fighters, and the third fight comes around, would you say yes to the phone call? 100%. Because I personally, for me, I think that you, you can't um, like say he didn't win that second fight because he, he stopped you, which you can't do anything about that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, but the, saying, so the saying, first one, one yeah. I thought the first one, I thought you had it by maybe two. I mean, yeah. Fair enough, they give him the decision, but I thought it was rather close. I thought you needed to make yeah, it more yeah. convincingly that it was yeah. was winning. Do you yeah, feel that yeah. way? Yeah, I agree with you. So, yeah, I would take the third fight, and um, you never know what could happen. Boxing's a funny old game, so we just have to stay ready and just we need phone. Like I said, every fighters, you get last minute notice, so the phone you. Are you ready? And you have to be ready. So I'm still training and I'm ready to rap in any minute. Yeah. Is, is that a Celtic top you've got on? Yep. But I, but I thought Celtic were a Scottish team. They are. So, so why do you but, support Celtic and not like an Irish team? Well, um, Irish league football isn't really, you know, big teams. You know what I mean, it's a good standard, but it's not a, a high level. And um, Celtic was started by a group of Irish men. It's a historical Irish links. So, oh, um, so it's got the Irish link. So is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? Is that is that a United top you're on? Yeah, Man United, mate. Yes. You sound like you're from London. Well, I I am I am from London, but the reason why I put United is because my dad's from a uh, well Salford, where it's like ten yeah. minutes away from Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I am from London. He forced you. You had no choice. Yeah, but a good, a good choice for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, Scotland is green. I'll give you that. Yeah. So, yeah. but teams we didn't get the pick. Our teams, our teams chose us. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, what? When are you trying to get back out? Are you gonna like? Is, are you going to fight on like a Mark Don Lock card or what's next? Well, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. Um, or are you promoted by Matchroom? Because you've been on quite a few of their shows. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a contact with Matchroom. Um, so, listen, I'm just training. I'm just ready to go whenever whenever I get a call. Um, with Matchroom, I'm not too sure what way to what way things are now. But if, when my team phoned me, because I had a three fight deal with my team. Um, yeah, if any of the promoters ring me, I'm, I'm ready to rock. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, there's a big fight coming up. Um, I think it's for the one of the Irish titles Um, on the, the Conlon undercard. Mm-hmm. C- um, Cole McMurphy v. Um, Rudy Farrell. Two young yeah. prospects. Who who do you back with that? Because for me, I'm thinking uh, Cole Murphy. Well, um, the both of them, there's some history though. They box each other in the amateurs. I think Cole beat in the amateurs. Yeah. Um. So Farrell just for revenge. Murphy's trying to progress. So makes for an interesting fight. Because um. Rudy fought on the same night as you um in um 
Estonia. Yeah, Estonia. Yeah, yeah. He got a stoppage as well, didn't he? Yeah, he stopped the guy. I think he stopped him in the second round. Maybe yes, the third uh, second, yes. Uh, and then he stopped um some guy in the first round as well, uh, before that fight against Fash, Luke Fash. Yeah, so Far Farrell's um you know he's making good ground and he's three and all the minute. Um Murphy, I think he's about four and all, I think. So Yeah, Murphy's four and oh. And so it's a Rudy's good crossroad three and oh. for Yeah. So it's do, been who interesting. Do you win? Who do you think wins? It all comes down on the net, doesn't it? I think they're evenly matched. So if you ever can perform on the net, I don't want to pick a winner. Oh, so you think it's a real 50-50, though? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you see, like, a, um, a stoppage in it? Um, I don't know. They're both of them... Whoever get somebody gets on top, maybe because both of them seem like they're good punchers for the whip. So, but who do you think is like um more likely to get the stoppage? For me, I'm thinking Farrell would more likely get the stoppage. I think I'm saying like, I'm I'm on the fence with this one big team. Um, so it's just have good, you spoken to, to them both? Yeah, both great guys. Yeah. Because I've interviewed um, Murphy quite a few times, and I'm interviewing um, Farrell soon, so it should be should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to that fight. Yeah, so it will be good. And then you come I'm, over for it. No, unfortunately, but um, if there's a way to watch, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I think it'll be on YouTube. It should be because Conlon's yeah. uh, like returning since his. Defeat to Wood, but that was a great fight though. Before he got knocked out, yeah. Yeah. absolute quality fight. I had Conlon winning before he got knocked out. Yeah, I thought so too. So um, just unfortunate the way it ended, but that's that's boxing, isn't it? That, it was good to hear he was all up. right after the stoppage, though. It was good. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was very worried because we weren't getting any information about his health. So nobody knew what was going on, but then when the news came through that it was all right, you know, put everybody's mind at ease. Yeah. We screwed the same back, back in action. Who do you, do you think um he comes back with like a win? Oh yeah, for sure. So hopefully he can have a big win this time and um get you know, back get in back that in title in picture. Yeah, yeah. Who trains in your gym then? Are you? Um, I recently just switched gym. So, uh, when I'm in the gym, you know, it's, I'm I train alone in the gym. I'm like Mr. T, train alone, eat alone, sleep alone. I'm a one man band. So, so, do you do you get like any sparring partners in? Yeah, yeah, we'll get this one. Are you mainly, like, based in Ireland? Yeah. So you, do you not have a gym like in England when you come to fight in England? No, um, just, you know, I have good contacts in England with different gyms, so um, if I need sparring, I'll just reach out to the various cultures and we'll get it organised. Yeah. So, so have you been training today? Yeah, trained this morning. I what trained did every you do? Day. Did you do like pads or what did you do? Pad work, bike work, circuits, killer, killer sizing. Yeah. So, when what about you? you? Pardon? Did you do any training today? Uh, no, because I've just finished, uh, well, I've just recently got back from school. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But normally I, I do a bit of training on um Saturday. Okay. Yeah, and I do a bit of like bag work and pads and stuff, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. What what what's who's your when you got back in the, to the changing room after the uh, the t defeat with um Chris Billum Smith, uh, the, the second time, how how did you feel? Were you upset? Yeah, I was, you know, very disappointed. Just the way everything unfolded and, you know, it's a, it's a hard feeling to explain, but 
it's just devastating. So, yeah, that's the word you use, devastating. What makes you keep going? Like, when you lose, you keep on going and you keep trying. I don't know. I really can't answer that question. I think it's just the determination and the will to be, you know, to be a champion. Yeah. I'll, it, it, keep training hard, mate, and you'll get to where you want to be. I'll get there, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, I, I, I kind of want to see you fight, like, React Ball in that rematch, because he, he's doing yeah. well, you're still... In yeah. these tough fights, doing well. But did you watch his fight against the Turchi? Because you fought Turchi as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, you know, I felt like Turchi won the first round. And then Ragpour just has, you know, that freakish power. You know, he touched for him. He must have broke his rib or something. Yeah, because I Instead think the uh, two was... To, I, I, I haven't watched the fight with you and Tucci yet. Is it like, where can I re, like see that? I think it's on YouTube. Yeah. W was he yeah. hard? Yeah, he's a tough guy. He had a good defense. And he, he has that amateur pedigree. And when I fought him, I fought him in Italy in his home turf. And he was undefeated at the time. So, you know, it was all he the same. Yeah, he was, he was unbeaten. And he was knocking everybody up, so it was, it was tough. But um, so was mainly everyone cheering for him. Yeah, it's mad. But at the end, they'll start cheering for me. By the end, though. yeah, you kept them all quiet, didn't you? Yeah, yeah that's that's what you have to do. Yeah. When yeah. Came, um you saw that React Ball was fighting Turgy, uh, did you always think that? Did you think that React Pool was going to beat him? Yeah. What? Did you think he was going to knock oh, you him out? Back for him. Yeah. If you rematch Turchi, do you think you, you, you would stop him? I will go for it, I. Yeah. Are, uh, are, you, are you... How many more fights are you trying to have this year? Because you've had two fights so far. Yeah, I would like to have another two. To, uh, like a six rounder, or like are you gonna try and push on for time? Oh, I want to. I want to get back into the the big leagues. What? So twelve rounds? Yeah. So two, we need to have. So two huh? twelve rounds. Yeah. So also, maybe one of them, maybe at the later stage of the year, might be. Yeah, I would like to have a big one in September. If it was my way, I would fight for a title in, in September. Win it and then defend it in December. That's where I would take my year ago in boxing. So, do you still like sell tickets? No, I haven't had to do that for a couple of years, but um, I might have to go back down after it now that you know I'm not as champion anymore. So, d did you not sell tickets in that that six round recently? No, because, like I said, I was just out in the country training. And then they said, do you want to be on this show? So it was the last minute, just a quick thing. And then... And that happened with um, Rudy as well, did it? Yeah, both of us was our training. Were you training with him? Yeah. Oh. We are doing better spine. I'm supposing you, you beat him. No, I wasn't sparring him. He was sparring with some guys, though. And I was sparring with some other guys. Oh, because you were sparring with the bigger guys because you're crew. Yeah. And yeah. he's what? Feather? Super Feather, that... I think they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, new. so did you get a, a few decent sparring partners up there? Yeah, they weren't too bad, you know. Some up and coming guys, hungry guys. So um, they got some good work. It was a good team. It was only our first, only our for like five days. Yeah. What's your favorite punch in a fight? I would say um the left hook, left hook, to burn and punch. To the head or to the body? Either. If you do it on both, it looks good. Bang bang, head, body with left hook looks real classy. 
Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to expect to knock out in your next fight with like maybe oh, left. You, you better believe it. You better believe it. Yes, I will, mate. Yeah. And my final question for you, Tommy, is: Do you have any advice for people who want to be a boxer when they're like older? Yeah, just you know, stay in the gym, stay fresh, stay away from all the badness, and um, don't let anybody try and be negative or bring you down. Believe in yourself, train hard. Yeah. That's, that's it. And and do you, and do you want to shout out like your sponsors or your manager or anyone? Yeah, sure. Um, Pig Physique and Norman probably. That's my sponsor, stuck with me the whole way. And um, our core. Yeah, it's got a shirt. Um, AJC contract. And my manager, Mark Dunlap, best manager in the game. Anyone wants to go pro, give Mark a ring. He look after. Yes. I want to say a massive thank you for your time, Tommy. And keep... No problem. The good work up. Yes, bro. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.